Hey everyone, and welcome back to the channel. In this video, we'll explore what happens when you shift the demand curve to the left. With that said, let's get into it. So in order to illustrate this, we're going to start with our basic supply and demand graph. So we have our axes, our actual curves, and everything is labeled. So once again, price is labeled on the Y axis, quantity is on the X axis, and where the supply curve, which is upward sloping in blue, and the demand curve, which is downward sloping in red, intersect is P star and Q star, and we call that point equilibrium. Now let's introduce what we would call a negative demand shock. In this case, our example is your income decreases. Now, if your income decreases, then your demand would also have to fall, and therefore we would shift the demand curve to the left, as you see here, and we would denote this new demand curve as demand prime, and that just tells you it's the new demand and not the old demand. Now, what do you notice about the new intersection or the new equilibrium of the old supply curve and the new demand curve? Well, you'll notice that price goes down from P star to P prime, and it intersects at a new equilibrium right here. You'll also notice that Q star decreases to Q prime and intersects at an equilibrium right here. Now, no matter how big or small the shock, this will always be the case. That is, if supply doesn't move, then if demand decreases or the demand curve shifts left, then price and quantity in equilibrium will always fall. It does not matter how big the shift is. Now we have other short videos on the channel looking at what happens when you shift the demand or supply left or right. So if you want to find out what happens to price and quantity in each of those instances, just find those videos and I'm sure you'll find them very helpful. If you found this video helpful, let us know by liking the video, subscribing to the channel, and of course, let us know in the comments section what sort of economic topics or homework questions you'd like to see us cover in the future. Thanks for watching this video and we'll catch you in the next.